Hello friends, this is a follow-up to my briefing room for DCS version 0.5 overview video where I'm going to give you a quick little in-game demonstration of what a very simple mission generated with briefing room might look like. The mission that I've generated for today is very simple. We have one objective and that is to destroy all enemy APCs that will be patrolling on roads somewhere near uh, the objective waypoint marker. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is open up the F10 map, and we're gonna go and see what units were actually spawned in at mission start. So as far as enemy air defenses go, it looks like we've just got a pair of SA-8s as well as a Shilka over here. Now for reference, when I generated this mission, I selected the enemy air defense strength to average. And in my experience, this is actually a little bit on the lighter side of what I would expect with those settings, but your mileage may vary. Okay, so now let's zoom in and take a look at the actual target area. So here it looks like we've also got an additional SAA embedded within the group, as well as some sort of AAA vehicle. And then it looks like the four APCs that we will probably actually be targeting here. Now, we we'll spawn them out here kind of in the middle of the desert, but it looks like they are making their way over here to the road, as they should be. Now, they should be patrolling on the road somewhere in this area. I don't know exactly what their pathing will be, um, so we'll have to look around and actually spot them when we get to the target area to destroy them. Now, one other thing to note while we're looking at the map is that not all units actually get spawned in at mission start. As far as I can tell from my testing, the air units do not spawn in until after you take off. So once we get into the air, we'll see that some enemy fighters and stuff will spawn in, as well as all of the uh, friendly flight groups that will support us as well, including tankers, AWACS, and all of that good stuff. So I'll be sure to show you guys that once we get into the air as well, just so that you can see. Okay, so now that we've looked at the map, the first thing that I do whenever I load up a briefing room mission is I open up the radio menu, I go to other, mission, and I ask for the mission status. Command. Require update on mission status. Mission is still in progress. So this tells us that our objective is to destroy all APCs designated objective rattler zero out of four. And I do that so that I know how many targets actually have to be destroyed at the target area so that I know what bombs to bring. So now that we know how many targets we have to destroy, let's go ahead and uh, rearm here. Okay, so this is the default loadout for the Hornet, which is going to be uh, four GBU-12s as well as a laser and an IR Maverick and some Sidewinders. Um, also, it defaults to using the old... Uh, lightning targeting pod. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch this out for the AT FLIR instead, because that's my preference. And also I'm going to switch out the IR Maverick for a laser Maverick as well. Okay, so this is the loadout that I want to take. So we're going to go ahead, confirm that. I'm going to go ahead and get this Hornet started up and then I'll see you guys once we are in the air and on our way to the objective area. Okay, so now we're in the air flying towards waypoint one and let's open up the map just so that you guys can see that in fact, the additional air units have spawned in now. So we have some friendly units here. Um, it looks like our AWACS is over here and unfortunately our tanker seems to have spawned right over the target area. Oh, that's not ideal because of the air defenses in that area, but you know, sometimes that's a thing that's going to happen. Um, it looks like we've also got a couple enemy bandits coming in here, but they are going to be very overwhelmed by our friendly forces flying into the area, so those guys are not going to be a factor for us. Okay, let's get back into the cockpit here, and while we're getting up to altitude, let's go ahead and get set up for our attack here. First thing that I'm going to do is set up my, uh, my laser-guided bombs here, so I want those guys to have an instant fuse. And we don't want to forget to set up the laser codes. Okay. We're using the default laser code 1688. I'll zoom in here. Yep. Okay. Those are both set. So those are good to go. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and also set up the Mavericks as well. I don't anticipate actually needing to use these guys, but uh, just in case I miss with one of the, of the bombs. I just want to have a little bit of extra firepower on board 
just in case, you know? Okay, so those should be good. And then because we are going to be going after moving targets, we're going to take advantage of the GMT mode of the air to ground radar. This will help us find those moving targets. Uh, let's also narrow the field of view here uh, to 45 degrees. We know the general area of where they're going to be, so this will help us uh, find them a little bit more easily. Uh, oh, let's also zoom this out to 40 as well. Oh, and I am apparently descending because I wasn't paying attention there. Okay, so I think I'm going to climb up to about 20,000 feet or so. And let's also switch this to SA. And let's zoom this out to, say, 80. Yep, okay. That should be good. Okay, so I'm going to climb up to about 20,000 feet. And then once we get in range to see the uh, our ground targets on the ground radar, um, I'll check back in with you guys and we'll do our bombing run. Okay, so I can see some targets popping up here on the air to ground radar. So let's go ahead and start getting a lock on these guys. Let's go ahead and turn on our master arm now before I forget. Let's bring it with the FLIR. And let's see if we can actually uh, get a moving track on some of these guys down here. So let's zoom in and try to find where these guys are. Okay. Looks like this is the group right here. So I'm gonna prioritize taking out the leader of the convoy. So let's go ahead and just get this marker right over the leader. And let's see if we can get a moving lock on him. Nope, not quite. Okay, there we go. I finally got a moving track on the leader of the convoy. So let's arm our laser. And let's line up on the fall line. And we'll get ready to drop our first bomb and take out one of these APCs. Oh, and of course, right when we get to the point we're about to release, I lose the track. Okay, so... Okay, so I missed that opportunity, so we're going to have to go around and do another pass. Oh, yeah. Just did it again. It likes to switch over to these uh, power lines for some reason. We've got to be careful of that. Let's see. Okay, we got another track. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn back around and come in for another pass. Okay, I'm coming in for another pass here and hopefully we can uh, keep the, the moving track on this target this time. All right, 10 seconds to release. Nope, and it did it again. Let's see, can we get it? Okay, and pickle. Okay, now hope hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can keep the track for the bomb to fall in here. Hopefully we don't lose it again on its way down. Okay, laser on in ten seconds. Okay, ten seconds to impact. Five. And shack. Target destroyed. Okay, there's one down. Three to go. Okay, I've identified another target. Uh, it's not moving right now, but I'm still going to go ahead and uh, do a moving track on him just in case he starts moving again after we drop the bomb. Okay, let's uh, turn the laser back on. And let's turn in. 
Okay, 10 seconds to release. And pickle. Five seconds to impact. Looks like it's going to hit a little bit to the side. Hopefully that'll still get a kill. Check. Target destroyed. Okay, that was a little bit, a little bit of a miss, but it still killed the target. So that's that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, so t two down, two to go. Let's see. Okay, that looked like it had a little, uh, like a radar antenna thing on top of it, or radar dish, whatever it is. So I think that's not one of the APCs. I lost line of sight anyway, so I need to turn around to acquire another target. Okay, so now let's look for target number three. Let's see, so it looks like it's going to be these two guys on the outside of this little formation. So let's get a lock on the right one. There we go. Rearm the laser again. And we'll turn in. Okay, here we go for pass number three. And pickle. Laser on in 10 seconds. Five seconds to impact. And target destroyed. Good hit on target. Okay, let's quickly try to acquire the final target which looks like it's going to be this guy here. So let's get a lock on him before I lose line of sight. Rearm the laser for the last time, hopefully. We'll turn around and go in for the last pass here. Okay, here we go. Coming in to kill the last target. And pickle. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's starting to move, so it's a good thing that I uh, went for the, the moving target track on him. Hopefully we can maintain line of sight. Laser on in five seconds. There we go, five seconds to impact. Hold line of sight, come on, come on. And check. Target destroyed. Okay, so that is mission complete. And it sounds like some additional bandits may have just spawned in. Yep. Looks like a three ship of bandits just spawned over here by Palmyra. Um, we still have all of our friendly uh, fighters up in the air, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. It's time for us to return to base. All right. And with that landing, we have successfully completed a very simple mission generated with briefing room for DCS version 0.5. And just to reiterate, this is a very flexible piece of software and you can generate missions as easy or as difficult as you would like. So if you want something a little bit more challenging than what I've demonstrated here, you're more than welcome to do so. And I recommend it too. 
this wasn't a big challenge, but I wanted something really simple just to sort of demonstrate the concept of how it works and what a mission generated with the software actually might look like for you. So with all of that said, I highly recommend you check out Briefing Room for DCS. Um, it's a great little bit of software and I really enjoy using it myself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.